As the movie opens, a ballerina dances while a narration delves into the challenges faced by women, particularly black girls, highlighting the darker aspects of their lives. The scene then transitions to a woman engaging in intimacy with a man against her will. We then witness Tanji writing in her journal, followed by the man waking up and attempting to kiss her. She skillfully avoids his advances and cleverly insists that he leave when he asks for breakfast. Despite his irritation, he barges back in. Shortly after, Kelly from the Child Welfare Services arrives, seeking Crystal Wallace. Initially reluctant to meet her, Crystal is eventually persuaded after Kelly hints at involving the police if she doesn't comply. She reluctantly shares her address with Kelly. After realizing there was no elevator, Kelly began the ascent up the stairs. Along the way, she spots a woman fervently knocking and shouting at her husband, who remains inside, unwilling to open the door. Miss Gilda opens her door to see who is approaching and requests that Crystal bring her mail when she heads downstairs. Meanwhile, Tanji appears and carelessly stirs up dust as she clashes with Miss Gilda. Crystal greets Kelly, allowing her inside, and then gathers her children. While Kelly starts questioning the kids, Bo suddenly emerges from the bedroom. Upon learning the reason for Kelly's visit and her identity, Bo becomes visibly upset and angrily escorts her out, and it becomes evident that he is a military officer. Outside, Miss Gilda intercepts Kelly and clarifies that she was the one who contacted them. She explains that the issue lies with the husband, who is frequently intoxicated. She provides Kelly with detailed information about him and their troubled marriage, imploring her to assist Crystal. Their conversation is interrupted as he appears, prompting Kelly to swiftly depart. Meanwhile, Tanji's mother arrives to request money from her daughter. Despite a heated argument, Tanji adamantly refuses. Her mother pleads in a heartfelt manner, but Tanji shuts the door on her, forcing her to leave. Along the way, her mother asks for help from several people eventually receiving assistance from a couple who bless her with money before she departs. In the dance studio while warming up, Nyla captivates everyone with stories of her past party experiences involving drinking and fun with friends. Being the only virgin among them, her tales stand out. When Yasmin arrives, they begin their training, but Nyla suddenly rushes off due to feeling nauseous. Yasmin soothes her and they resume their practice. Meanwhile, in the office, Joe is working and waiting for her tardy assistant, Crystal, who arrives late as usual. Joe admonishes her for her repeated lateness. Shortly after, Juanita, a nurse from an NGO scheduled to meet Joe, is let in by Crystal. Juanita seeks assistance, but her nervous, incessant talking leads Joe to decline the request for charity. At the hospital, Kelly and her husband were present for her reproductive treatment, only to receive the devastating news that her condition had reached an untreatable stage. With a heavy heart, she left the hospital, her husband trying to console her, but she drove away without him. Meanwhile, Juanita was conducting a training session for women when unexpectedly her husband, Frank, appeared. She excuses herself to speak with him, where he expresses his regret for missing her. Despite his apologies, she firmly declines, returning to her duties. In a bar, Tanji was working as a server and struck up a conversation with one of her customers. Back at home, Crystal mentioned she had prepared dinner, but when he requested a drink, she offered water instead. This action angered him leading him to throw a glass against the wall before grabbing a drink. However, Crystal did not back down. She approached him gently, persuading him to stop drinking by expressing her love for him. He questioned why she would marry him if she loved him, revealing that they were not legally married. Despite this revelation, she embraced him and kissed him. In the evening, Joe found herself at a restaurant, leaving a voicemail for the man she had argued with the previous night. On a different note, Yasmin was dining with Bill, who gazed at her with a sincere expression. Back at home, Alice, Tangji's mother, returned to find Nyla cooking. Alice scolded Nyla for touching her belongings while cleaning the house. In response, Nyla began massaging Alice's leg. Alice gave her some money, but it wasn't sufficient. She mentioned that her sister couldn't provide more. Later, Billy accompanied Nyla home, kissed her, and made plans for the next dinner, with Nyla agreeing before heading home. Tanji brought a man to her place, but during their intimate moment, he displayed rudeness and disrespect, leading Tanji to promptly escort him out, feeling humiliated. At the same time, Nyla approached Tanji, requesting money for her college application fee. Tanji insinuated that if Nyla had engaged in sexual activity and was pregnant, she wouldn't help her. Despite Nyla's assurances of innocence, Tanji remained unconvinced and refused to provide the money, causing Nyla to leave. 
At Joe's residence, her husband Carl, who had been previously arrested by the police, returned and inquired about his malfunctioning phone. Concerned for his well-being, Joe even contacted the authorities. However, their conversation grew strained, revealing that Carl had taken $200,000 from her without her knowledge. Meanwhile, at Kelly's house, her husband, who is a police officer, was present. She began recounting her past experiences, including getting pregnant by her ex-boyfriend, only to later discover she could not conceive. Her husband comforted her, assuring her that she was everything he desired, embracing her to provide solace. In another setting, at the apartment, Frank awaited Juanita, and upon her arrival, he entered the home behind her, offering an apology. However, shortly after, he initiated kissing her, leading to a more intimate encounter between them. The following morning, Crystal surprises Joe at her office with a bouquet of red roses. Concurrently, Carl contacts Joe, expressing remorse for his past behavior and arranging a meeting for the evening, which warms Joe's heart. Meanwhile, at Yasmin's training center, Bill presents her with flowers. In a sudden encounter, Tangi approaches Yasmin, introducing herself as Nyla's sister and offering to pay for Nyla's college application. However, she discovers that the class is free, leaving her irritated by her sister's misguided intentions. Venturing into a risky village, Nyla navigates past intimidating individuals until she encounters a woman who smokes. Nyla, frightened and seeking an abortion, complies with the woman's unsettling instructions, leading to a tense and uncomfortable exchange. That evening, Yasmin, elegantly dressed, greets Bill at her home and serves him wine in a flirtatious manner. Despite her efforts to resist, Bill undresses and proceeds to act forcefully and ruthlessly, leaving Yasmin traumatized. At the theater, Joe and Carl watch a performance, but Joe notices Carl's lustful gaze, shattering her heart. The following day at work, Joe urgently requests a document from Crystal for a meeting in 45 minutes. Realizing the document is at Crystal's home, they rush there. Upon arrival, as Crystal searches for the document, her husband mistakenly believes he sees a man and instigates an argument. As Crystal retrieves the document, her husband verbally and physically abuses her, even spilling his drink on the paper and assaulting her. Meanwhile, their children are under Miss Gilda's care, who attempts to divert the baby's attention from their parents' distressing altercation, despite the challenging circumstances. Later, he goes outside and behaves as if nothing had occurred, interacting with his babies normally. However, when she enters and they are in her care, he forcibly takes them from her, interrogating her about potential burning incidents from her boss. Shortly after, he brings them to the window, escalating the situation. Despite her efforts to intervene, he pushes her away, causing her to fall to the ground. She quickly stands up to halt his actions, but it is too late as he already destroyed the railing. Onlookers, including Miss Gilda, hear the commotion and seek help by knocking on neighbors' doors. Meanwhile, Joe and others on the street witness the alarming scene, fearing for the children's safety. Despite Crystal's pleas, he callously allows the children to fall. At the hospital, Yasmin confides in the investigator about the suffering of women in society, revealing that they are all being victimized in their homes by someone familiar rather than a stranger. She emphasizes that these women are being deprived of their rights by men who reside close to them. On a different note, Alice arrives at the hospital and encounters Nyla, embracing her and urging her to share her story. Nyla begins recounting her painful journey, detailing the abortion process and her subsequent emotional distress after her mother left her in sorrow. Outside in the reception area, Kelly overhears a distressed voice and inquires with a doctor. Learning about Crystal's situation, she becomes enraged as her husband investigates the case. Kelly calls him in tears. Meanwhile, at the apartment, Alice knocks on Tangi's door. Upon Tangi's opening the door, Alice confronts her, choking her and raising her voice. It is revealed that there is an undressed man in Tangi's bed. Alice swiftly removes him, leading to a heated argument during which they slap each other. Seated in a corner, Alice somberly recounts her history of abuse and pain. Despite their conversation, where both share their struggles, they fail to truly listen to each other. Tangi eventually ejects Alice from her home, inadvertently locking herself out in the process. She calls calls out to Miss Gilda for assistance, who eventually lets her in, offering her an ice pack and imparting advice that resonates with Tangji. That night, Juanita returns home to find Frank absent. Feeling despondent, she sits down, only to have Frank arrive later with items she enjoys, warming her heart as she embraces him. On another note, Carl arrives home late to find Joe sitting in shock and tears. She recounts witnessing the children's potential assailant, prompting Carl to recall that Crystal had worked for them for a considerable time. He consoles Joe with a hug, both over 
overwhelmed with emotion. At Alice's residence, Nyla apologizes to her mother, but Alice insists that she should seek repentance at the prayer spot. She compels Nyla to paint herself with ashes and pour oil on her, while shouting. In a moment of forceful escape, Nyla breaks free from Alice's grasp. Seeking solace, Nyla heads to Yasmin's place, but Yasmin, dealing with her traumas, is unable to open the door. Disheartened, Nyla leaves, surrendering to the situation. Meanwhile, Crystal cleans the area where her children were murdered, with Kelly present. Unbeknownst to her, Nyla steps on the cleaned spot, prompting Kelly to intervene and redirect her to Crystal's home. As they enter, Kelly requests a dry towel. Just as Tangi arrives home with a man, Nyla moves to confront her upon hearing her voice. However, it is revealed that the man is having an affair with both sisters. Tangi swiftly dismisses him, embarrassed, and enters Crystal's home. After a tense moment, Kelly gives them space to talk. During their conversation, Tangi opens up about her struggles to her sister. Suddenly, Kelly notices Crystal collapsing in a drugged state in the bathroom, leading them to rush her to the hospital. On the other side, Yasmin dances at her home when the police arrive to take her to the hospital for examination regarding the abuser. It is revealed that he is the culprit and gets stabbed by a girl he previously abused. Yasmin enters and slaps him in a moment of raw emotion. Juanita informs them that Crystal's procedure is complete, and they will see her during the recovery period. Later that night, Juanita prepares a birthday celebration for Frank, with a cake and gifts, only to find that he has left without a word, taking some of his belongings along with some of hers. Subsequently, Juanita is seen training women while Joe contributes to her charity fund, and Crystal is on the path to recovery. In the past, Tanji had invited Crystal to a community event to celebrate her sister's college acceptance. Meanwhile, Frank returns to Juanita's home with flowers, only to be rebuffed and sent away. Concerned about Crystal's well-being, Miss Gilda intervenes, encouraging her to face her challenges and move forward, and offering support by lifting her spirits and urging her to progress. Elsewhere, Joe confronts Carl about potential infidelity, expressing her emotional distress and plans to consult a gynecologist. Initially, Carl did denies any wrongdoing, but later confesses to being gay, as Joe had suspected his involvement with various men. Distraught, Joe leaves their home, returning the ring and paperwork, warning him against being there upon her return. Later that night, amidst a festive atmosphere where everyone is dancing, Alice briefly joins before departing abruptly, expressing her disdain. Subsequently, Crystal arrives at the party, leading to a heartfelt discussion among the group about their aspirations, self-forgiveness, and plans for a fresh start. They apologize to themselves and each other, acknowledge their flaws, and embrace one another as they collectively look toward the future. The movie concludes at this moment. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.